We're going to use a Mercedes for the money drop. It's parked in the driveway. I want it properly prepared. What do you want us to do? I want you to wire it so that we can hear everything that's said in it from in here. I want you to put an iridescent marking on the top so we can follow it with a copter. And I want you to put a tail on it in an unmarked car. You got all that? Yes, sir. Now, there's one other thing. Be careful. I don't want anyone to do anything that might make the kidnappers nervous. A Kelly is the important thing here. I don't care about the money. I don't care about anything except her safety. We understand that, Mr. Catwell. If you want my opinion, it's a mistake by what you're doing here. What would you, you mean, taking precautions? I don't think they are precautions. I think you're putting Kelly's life in greater jeopardy. Dan, that's ridiculous. You want these men caught, don't you? I want Kelly found. Now, once she is here, home and safe, then I will personally lead a manhunt and find them. Until then, I don't want to run any mistakes. I'm not going to do anything that's going to hurt Kelly, but there's certain police procedures that have to be followed in these cases. Cases? What do you think uh, we're dealing with here? An academic course? Some police academy exercise? I know exactly what we're dealing with here. I know the risks and dangers as well as you. Better than you. But I also know that if we just send Peter out into the night with a million dollars and no backup, we're not likely to ever see Kelly or the money again. We may lose Peter as well. I'm just telling you. You be right before you do anything. Don't worry about police procedures. We'll be as sure as we can. But nothing is absolute here. You don't have to worry, Mr. Capwell. We'll be just as discreet as humanly possible. Yes, yes, I know that. All right. Go on and do what you have to. Go ahead and get ready, guys. Where's Peter? He's supposed to be here. I'm right here, CC. Where have you been, Peter? Well, I left as soon as I got your messages, Mason. Have you heard from him? Yes, and you've been approved to act as go-between. Okay. We have partial, partial instructions on how to proceed. I'll go over them with you step by step. Now, the money's in those two briefcases. Hello? Who am I speaking to? This is Mason Capwell. Who's this? A friend. If you want to find Ginger Jones, she's at 116 Hollister. Have you got that? 116. Who is this? Hello? Hello? Who was it? I don't know. He didn't give his name, but he told me where I could find Ginger Jones. I'm going to check it out. Where is she? She's at 116 Hollister. I'll phone headquarters from the car and report it. Mason, I'm going with you. If we can find Kelly, maybe we can resolve this whole thing right now. No, no, it's a long shot. I don't want anybody to get their hopes up too high. Anything is worth trying. Don't you think I should go with you? No, you better stay here by the phone in case they call back. Uh, we'll stay in touch with you. Whatever you say. Uh, leave a man outside in case you need to contact us. Fine, otherwise let me know what happens as soon as possible. Come on, Mason, we're wasting time. I'd better take these with me. Never know when you're going to need a million dollars. Yeah.